Welcome back, 743 right now. They are some of Colorado's most historic and important places, and some are in danger of being lost forever. A local organization working to draw awareness and bring help to some of Colorado's what they call most endangered places. They're hoping to get people here in Colorado involved in saving some of these historically significant Colorado spots. Jennifer Origo Charles is here. She's the executive director for Colorado Preservation with a look at some of these spots. Thank you for coming in this morning. So we hear about endangered species all the time, <laughs> right? This is kind of the same thing, but we're talking about physical buildings and spots here in Colorado. Yeah, that was a great intro because <laughs> we hear that a lot. People hear right. historic preservation, endangered places. What are you talking about? What does that about? mean? Yeah, and, and you have it correct. We work with communities to save the important places that they care about that right. are in danger of being lost. And you guys name spots. Let's take a look at the map from your website. You name spots as endangered places here in Colorado. And this is the map of the whole state, but uh, we can zoom in and you can go to Denver and see specific pinpoints. I mean, the state capitol is a great example of a spot that was endangered, that you guys really worked hard to make sure it was going to have another 100 years to live. Yes, a lot of people don't realize when you're walking around places like Denver, or even yeah. smaller towns, that, you know, what's left is really a result of a choice. Um, and the dome is an example of a great one where, you know, funding can be a challenge. Yeah, especially and when it's laced with gold. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that so that building was in, in poor repair, but, yeah. be, you know, as a result of some uh, grants and our organization getting involved, you know, it, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And these are a lot of spots that you guys deem not only need help, but but need to be around for another hundred years. We would love that. Yeah. yeah, we're working throughout the state. As you saw on that map, you know this is a, a great location in Como, which is outside of Fair Play, Colorado. It looks beautiful now, it's an right? Old train but, though, right? Yeah. About ten years ago, we weren't sure if this was going to make it. Wow. You know, the roof was pretty much gone. There were holes in the building. I mean, this took a lot of work and dedication and creative vision to get it where it is now. Well, a lot of people know the Elkhorn Lodge up in Estes Park, too. Right. That's another beautiful property on 66 acres that, you know, it's currently for sale. So the question is, you know, what happens to this, right. this great historic resource um, that was built in the 1870s? You mentioned Crosslands Market, um, uh, another spot that you guys are working on. Yeah, it's an old uh, mercantile building up um, in the northeastern part of the state, um, kind of near Steamboat Springs. It uh, closed in the 60s, and we weren't sure what was going to happen. Um, it was vacant, and now the town wants to turn it into their town offices and oh, potentially cool. a museum below. So really, with these endangered places, what we're trying to highlight is they can be catalysts and assets yeah. to a community. And new uses. It doesn't have to right. be used, as like the roundhouse you mentioned down in Hugo. It doesn't have to be used the same way it was hundred years ago, it can be used in new ways. Yeah, and a museum maybe isn't the best use for some of these places. We right. want to activate places and get people in and caring. Um, you can see the Hugo Roundhouse was um, built in the early 1900s. It's a brick building that they used to bring the locomotives in for repair. Okay. And, um, you know, poor condition. It was vacant. Um, then a big tornado came through, took out part of the wall. Oh, and yeah, that was, hasn't it's been a long time hasn't coming. Hasn't been an easy path for the Hugo Roundhouse. No, Rock <laughs> but we're, we're pleased to announce that it's going to be considered a save this year. Oh, uh, cool. And they really want to turn it into an event center. Okay, so you all have a conference coming up. This is the 20th year where you've gone through a named places, right? Uh, and, and what is the conference all about? How can people help out? Uh, we would love to see as many people that are interested in history, yeah. have projects of their own, just want to meet with like-minded folks and talk yeah. about what's out there. Um, it's held at the convention center. We actually have it starting Wednesday through Friday. Um, like I said, encourage everyone to come. If you've never been before, we've got a half price. Um, oh, nice. For people to just join us. And is there a website? What's what's the website that yes, folks come can to? Yes, come to ColoradoPreservation.org. And you'll have that map on there, too, which is cool because people can go through and find spots. If, if they find something they're connected with, if somebody says, oh, my gosh, the Hugo Roundhouse, I'm from Hugo, I want to help, can they donate specifically to one spot? Yes, they can donate to the project, or you can just get involved, volunteer yeah. your time. You know, sometimes that is, is more than even funding. Get a hammer. Exactly. <laughs> Join us. Help the recovery. And that would be cool, too, because then you can say, look, I helped save this spot here in Colorado. Do, exactly. you, do you anticipate a lot more being added to the list? Every year we do this. Yeah. Yes, um, we take nominations for the public. They let us know what's important, what's threatened, and uh, we'll work with the communities to get it to that safe. Very cool. Thank you so Thank much. You so and much. we appreciate the uh, the work that you do and your team does to, to, to keep Colorado around for the decades to come. Well, we'd love to I have you at the cool. conference. Sounds great. Starts Wednesday, as she said, uh, right here in Denver. Let's get over to your weather now. Meteorologist Greg Dutra. There may be some folks outside walking to the convention center. Give them some good weather, Greg. Yeah, or doing work outside. I mean, if you got some stuff.